Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a Biscoff milk cake. Check out the description box below for the full measurements and ingredient list. Begin by separating the egg whites from the yolks into a separate bowl and whisk until soft peaks form. Make sure you don't get any yolk in, otherwise the egg whites won't whip up properly. Once soft peaks form, add in half the caster sugar and then continue to beat until the egg whites reach stiff peaks. The egg whites will be done when it can hold up without falling and should look like this. You then just want to leave these aside. Add the remaining caster sugar into the egg yolks. And then you just want to beat this for a few minutes until the egg yolks become light in colour. Once the egg yolks look like this, you then want to add in the milk. I'm using full fat milk and then vanilla extract. I'm also adding in a quarter teaspoon of salt, this will help to balance out the sweetness and then you're going to add in the malted Biscoff and then you just want to beat this for about another 2 minutes just to make sure that the Biscoff is really incorporated into the egg yolks and then you just want to add in the self-raising flour and gently fold this in if you don't have self-raising flour you can also use plain flour and just add about a teaspoon of baking powder in and then you just want to make sure there's no lumps in your mixture and then you just want to start folding in the egg whites that we beaten up earlier just a little at a time the batter will be quite thick at first but once you start adding in the egg whites it will loosen up you also don't want to use any butter in this cake batter as this will make it moist and harder to absorb the milk mixture when it comes to soaking the sponge. So once you've folded in all the egg whites, the cake mixture should look a bit like this. You then want to butter an oven proof dish. Make sure you don't butter to the top of the sides as this will cause the cake to shrink. You then just want to carefully pour the batter in. Level the batter out and then bake for around 50 minutes at gas mark 4. You can adjust the baking time depending on your oven. Meanwhile you can start to prepare the milk mixture that will be used to soak the sponge in. You want to place the evaporated milk into a bowl and then add in the full fat milk. Condensed milk. You can adjust the quantity of the condensed milk depending on how sweet you'd like it. And then add in the melted Biscoff. And then just give this a really good whisk to make sure that all the milks and Biscoff are really well incorporated with each other. Check that the cake is fully baked and then remove from the oven and then you want to leave this for about 10 minutes to cool down. Using a fork you then just want to create little holes all over the top of the cake. You then want to slowly pour over the milk mixture. You don't have to use all the milk, you can leave a little aside for serving. It might look like a lot but the sponge will soak all of it up. After just a few minutes the sponge will have soaked a lot of the milk up but for best results you want to leave this cake in the fridge overnight for it to soak up all the milk. And before serving you just want to prepare the topping. For this I've placed a double cream into a bowl and I'm adding in the caster sugar and then just beating this until soft peaks form. So it should look like this when done, don't overbeat it as this will just make it harder to spread. The next day, uncover the cake, the sponge will have soaked almost all of the milk cup and it's normal to see some still at the bottom. You then just want to add on the double cream, you can also pipe this on but it's really just up to you how you want to decorate this, I'm just going to use the back of a spoon to spread it out. And then I'm just going to top this off with a layer of crushed lotus biscuits. And then using the back of a spoon just gently press this down so it sticks into the cream and doesn't crumble when you cut it. And then to finish off I'm just going to add on some round Biscoff cream biscuits. You can serve this straight away but if you prefer to set the cream a little if it's a hot day for example you can place this in the fridge for about an hour. Cut the cake into small squares and then you can serve this along with some more of the milk mixture. If you like this recipe make sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to press that bell notification so you can be the first to be notified about all my upcoming videos. You can also follow me over on my Instagram page, the link is in the description box below where I upload all my written recipes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.